Well, and guys, we are down here again with Rob Potter, our mid handicapper, 13 handicapper, testing some drivers and giving brutally honest assessment. Yes. Brutally honest. So he's just tested the R15. If you've not checked that out yet, go and check out that on my channel because that is a it was a very good review, Rob. Very good. Uh, what was happening? Rob's been using the SLDR S in 16 degree, which actually he got from myself when, as in myself, I gave it you, yeah. <laughs> not <Okay. laughs> um, as a way of uh, showing him that more loft helped him hit the ball further. Now we've lofted that up, and now we've got the tight list 915 D2. Now we've gone with the D2 because it's a bigger head. Um, and we've put as much loft as we physically can put in it. It's got 12 and a half degrees of loft. Yep. Thoughts? Well, straight away, it's a black head and I prefer the dark colored um, heads on drivers. Uh, it's just a personal choice for me. Um, I've been quite giddy about hitting this because I've been wanting to hit Tartless drivers for years. Uh, and now this one looks like one of the best ones they brought out for a long, long time. What do you think of the active recoil channel? Is that something that, so this, this big yeah, slot? Yeah, the, the slot in the, in the bottom of it. I remember when they used to have the old uh, slots down the sides uh, years and years ago when mm -hmm. that first came out and they, they scrapped it. So hopefully it, this one might help. It's almost like doing the old springy face technology. Well, uh, that, that's its idea, yeah. Yeah, but making it legal again. Um, it's so got a bit of adjustability. And it, it's just a classic Titleist club. Yeah, I mean, looking at it, it's it looks it does look bigger than the TaylorMade. Um, it, it, visually, it just feels bigger. Okay. Uh, it's like if if a driver could twerk, this would probably be able to twerk. It's got a good back end. I like uh, it. It's, 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 <laughs> good. it's, it's, a, it's the jail of drivers. It's the jail of drivers. So all we've done, I've not. This is not a professional fitting. I'm not a fitter. All I've done is stuck in a regular standard shaft as a Diamond, a regular shaft just to try and match it up to the drivers that he's currently using. Yeah. You know, if, if we find one that goes further than the other, then we'd probably get professionally fitted. The, 950, uh, the R15 is the yellow uh, flights you'll see on screen. We're gonna hit two shots on camera, three off camera. Stay tuned to the end to see if the 915 is going further than the R15. Or just your whole honest opinion. Yeah, okay. yeah certainly. Let's give it a hit. Looks wise, you like the look of it straight away, Looks Yeah, I love, love the look of it. It's yeah, it's with Star Wars coming out, a bit Darth Vader-ish, isn't it? I don't think you would go D3. Do you think that might just be a bit too small, maybe, the head? Possibly. I mean, Would you I, prefer the bigger head? Well, you remember when we, we've, we've spoken in the past, and like with the irons, I've, I've mixed it. I quite like the big irons. I yes. also like the smaller irons. I, yeah. I changed from an X20 down to uh, the x Tours. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I don't mind the variation. The, you don't mind the size of the head. That I don't mind the size. That doesn't no, scare no, you that much. Okay. No, being a smaller head, it doesn't actually bother me, because uh, it means I've got... If I'm going to miss it, you know, I'm, I'm still going to hit it. You have to be more accurate. Well, this yeah. is the big head anyway. You've got lots of real estate. Yeah. You've got the J-Lo. Right. I've got the J-Lo. <laughs> Let's the, give it a hit. Da j -Lo. <laughs> Yeah, without a doubt. <laughs> love it. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Okay, stop video there. You're not getting this back, Titleist. Love See it. you later. Ta-ta. I'm loving it. Oh, behave. And it's great. It's great. Really good start. You like it? Yeah, I love it. I love, love it. it. Right, we'll sit. <laughs> we better just make it yeah, comparable, just, eh? We yeah. better just hit the other five. <laughs> be uh, yeah, good numbers first off. Yeah. Great numbers. That's, that's the reviews, the, the comments will be on this week. Oh, because well, he liked it, he's hit it further. Guarantee on that one. No, this is just you hitting the ball. Still a great hit. Yeah. Down the right. Just fade a little bit. That's Not seeing you hit one down the right. It's been, it's been a while. Right, well, it used to be the stock bad shot. And honestly, this is, Rob has not got an agenda. This is, yes, he likes the look of this, and it does have a say, it does have a sway, without question, but we're just hitting golf shots to see how far the ball goes and how easy it is. Right, yeah. three more, join us in a sec, we'll see if it's going any better than the R15. Shot, Rob, very good. So we've got five. And slightly, slightly mixed results we found. A little mm, bit yeah. of mixed results. We've hit the ball a decent way, yeah. but not quite as straight, I wouldn't say. No, not, not quite as... as straight. So I'm going to throw the numbers up on screen. Talk, talk to the guys about what the feeling was, Rob. How did you like? What's the feeling of that driver? The feeling of the driver is very nice. Uh, I'll be honest with you. Uh, the the fish I hit, as you'll see, I always wanted to <laughs> run off with it and hide. Uh, <laughs> The, the, the been flat chances for me if I run off with it. Um, but then the next couple of shots, I've found I, I, I pushed one, I've, I've pulled a couple. Uh, the forgiveness isn't, doesn't seem to be the same. Now, 
That I mean, this, this driver is not supposed to be for you, Rob. No, no. It's no. a better player's driver. Yeah. Tit Titles are the better players. <laughs> yeah. No, no. That's changed this year. That's changed because Titleists now are opening their doors to golfers like you, Rob. Oh, Come, on in. <laughs> Come on in. Come on in. So, Titleists always made Keep clubs. For, yeah, clubs for, uh, well, certainly for the better players. That was always their big tagline. Uh, but they're obviously making these drivers now for, for mere mortals, Rob. They've had to because if they're just niching themselves into one particular market... It doesn't work. And, yeah, you look at the average golfer handicap in the world. Yeah, 17. 17, the average handicap. Right, numbers guess. are up on screen. Um, so, there is... We'll go to distance straight away. Carry distance. There is one yard swing. One yard swing. And the one yard actually goes to the tailor-made. So the tailor-made carried at 212 and 235 total distance where the tight list was 211 for 232 no difference at all you know I'm not, I'm not saying that's even a difference what i'd say with that is would be then in that case that had more aids to try and keep you hitting it straighter and i did hit that off the button pretty straight this one I didn't hit as good and misdirected it but it's still only one yard less so this out the back out the middle compared to with that one i think this one might have gone further Potentially. Just as, as, as a possible your longest hypothesis. shot, your longest shot didn't go as long as the tailor made. Your longest no. shot with that one was two four one, which was your first one. Yeah. Which was arguably your best. Yeah. Now you did miss target a little bit more. Your dispersion is a little bit wider. The spin is up a touch, mm. so a couple of revs, a hundred revs per minute up. Right. So maybe, maybe even the D three might even suit you. But, but we've tested it with this. Uh, club head speed is exactly the same. Launch angle. Uh, almost, well, it is identical, 16.9. It's just the spin it was a little bit up with that, and you didn't find it as accurate, potentially. No. But you love the feel of it. Yeah, I love the feel of it. Interesting that it spins up higher with a smaller head. No, that's not the smaller head. Is that a smaller head, is it not? No, the All D3 right. is the, the smaller D head. Oh, sorry. sorry so I put you in the bigger bomb. I put you in the big, big boy, boy one. Big boy. Right. Big boy one. Oh, Maybe you're that, you're that good now, Rob. You it's can like, go into the smaller it's one. It's like the high tier of drivers, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> I'm giving you all the help I can get. Yeah, I need it to be fair. So, um, so if you don't help this. So 235 against 232. The, the TaylorMade currently stays on board, yep. and we're going to now test it against, what do you want to do next, the G30 or the Mizuno? We'll go with... We've been looking at adjustability, so let's go for the Mizuno, and then we're going to really test ping with its punk rocker style hurdle it's got. Yes, see if it can get you more club head speed. Yeah. So we'll go, we'll go uh, Mizuno next. Join us in that video. We'll see if the Mizuno is outdoing the R15 and the 912. It doesn't. Uh, uh, 912? Well, no, I've, 912. I've just gone back in time. Pretty much. 15, yeah. And then we'll see if the Mizuno can out hit it potentially, how it feels, how adjustable it is. Stay tuned, do subscribe, check Rob out on Twitter, and we shall see you next time. Good work, Rob. Thank you.